Rainy Dreamers. And it's time to do some black light painting of some decorations for Halloween. Rainy Day Dreamers. Rainy Day Dreamers. Over on Epic Review Guys, I reviewed a UV light, also known as a black light, that we were sent to try out. Super cool, so we're incorporating it into our Halloween decorations this year. Went over to Michael's and picked up some neon fluorescent colors that should glow with that light. And picked up an extra head so we can have it hanging from a tree. So it's Halloween. We're still getting things ready, but we're hoping you're having a happy Halloween. Right, guys? Happy Halloween. Okay, let's get painting with this. We've got a pumpkin. We thought um, after it's been carved, we would accent the eyes, nose, mouth, put some design on it. And we've got the head. Everybody grab what they'd like to paint and the color they would like. And let's play Twister and get started. It's still daytime, so we will check it out by going into the dark closet with the UV light and see if it looks really cool. We'll do that at the end of this video. And while they're getting started, I wanted to mention the wall of Halloween. We will, I know you can't see all the pictures down on the sides here. We will, at the end of this video, we'll give you a nice, good close-up look at all of these wonderful decorations that Dream Team members have sent us for Halloween decorations for the wall. Finally, found a use for these, what were these called? Go plate. Go plate. The go plate. We don't even remember so many reviews we've done. It's got the sections with the full dividers. I think this should work out well, don't you? We should be able to fit all the paints in two of these, and you guys can just trade off and share. Might as well put all the paint in each thing, you think, or not? Just that. This is a good way to paint. You could just stick Cheetos. a thing of <laughs> I don't think thing you of clean water in the, the middle to go and clean your brush off. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought stick of that. A cup here. Oh, yeah. Or use the big section for water. I see, oh, then there would be... that would spill so fast. Oh, okay. Well, just don't like put all of it. Just like so. You're gonna side. do the reds there, and I'll do the non-reds over here. Okay. Should have done the orange one and the one that had the Cheetos. <laughs> Can I start painting? Well, let's put the colors out first. Oh yeah, duh. Sorry. Whoa, you put a lot of green in there. We're going to put all of them into each thing. What? No. I don't know how much we'll need. Roxana, any advice here? Oh. I say you put how much you think you'll need and not anymore. Okay. See, like I'm only putting little piles. All right. Not the entire bottle. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like a bag of chips. Once you open it, you got to eat the whole thing. And uh, Not really. Oh, this one's nice. And then I'll have one extra so you can mix the paint if you need to. Oh, I didn't even think of mixing it for different colors. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm leaving the big one for instead of putting the entire bottle in there. Huh. Oh well. We should be wearing aprons or something, shouldn't we? The way you're painting, yes. <laughs> these, are, these are not water paints or anything, are they? Tempera, which means they stain you permanently. Oh. Okay, now we can see what you're doing. Under Xana? I suppose so. The orange isn't going to show very well against the uh, orange, orange pumpkin. pumpkin. Okay. Actually, it, you'll be surprised it will. The Under the UV light, the rest of the pumpkin will disappear and only the paint part will show. Ideally. Hmm. You're in training to be a makeup professional, looks like. Uh -huh. no, Eyeliner. I just... I just want the eyes to stand out since mm -hmm. it will be like weird eyes and nose and mouth are floating. I'm trying to decide whether to use this as blood or not. Sure. Down from the eyes or the mouth or even on the sides. Let's make it as colorful as we can. Or how about on the insides? That's good. Sure. You can have two tones. To make it like bloody eyes. Right. Hopefully it will look like blood. If you want blood, you gotta make the brown I made. How's it coming along? Fine. Good. Good. I'm making stitches. Oh. Stitches clever. on a pumpkin. That makes no sense, but I don't care. I'm afraid mine might veer away some trick or treaters. Oh, Isn't that scary hanging out there in the yard? It means more candy for us, though. That's true. Okay, Roxana, that turned out pretty gruesome looking. And, um,. People did not use up all the green that I poured into the tray. I'm so sad now. And Jimena, the pumpkin. Ta-da. Now that should really show up really nicely when we have it with the UV light. 
that will be the next thing to test out. Take it in the dark with the UV light and see what they look like. Whoa, fun. that is a glowing pumpkin face. Roxana, let's see what you got. <sighs> that is gonna look great out in the yard floating. You're actually glowing yourself, Roxana, but I can't see your face at all. Try smiling. Smile bigger. Oh, your face is in the shadow of that. You gotta look up a little. Now smile. <laughs> there we go. There's the teeth. Oh my gosh, your eyes just glowed for the weirdest moment. <laughs> okay, Jimena, you gotta turn so your face in there. There we go. There's glow in the dark teeth. Ah, uh, heavy. Okay, I'll grab the pumpkin. Thanks, guys. Guys, what do you think of this UV light and the fluorescent paint? Awesome, awesome, it, awesome, awesome. It makes it look really freaky. This will be a different Halloween out on our front porch, so hopefully we'll manage to scare somebody with these things, or at least it'll look really spooky. We'll be back with more videos again soon. You can keep checking back for them, or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up, and you will join, join the, the Halloween team. team. Happy Halloween! Here's a more close-up look at some of the great artwork that we were sent by members of the Dream Team to help with our Halloween wall decorations. Thank you to everyone who sent these in. Now we still have a few more that came in recently, like um, Halloween night. And so we will put those up and I think we're gonna do one more Halloween video. I think our Will It Olaf will be something related to Halloween. So be sure to check back for that. And we will have all the last pictures up on the wall and included in that video. So this is all that we have for now. Thank you again. This has been such a wonderful decoration wall to have. It's raining at our house. Is it raining where you are? Try the day to stay in a play or eat a big chocolate bar. Hey!